Never Stop Learning, week 238. We're going to take a quick look at the Brush Tool Basics in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. All right, so to activate the tool, you want to hit the B key on your keyboard and notice that changes up my cursor. And over here in the Tools panel, I already have the Brush Tool activated. Now, my cursor might look a little bit different than yours. If you want to see how to change yours, just hit Command K on your keyboard or Control K on the PC. Switch over to Cursors and that gives you access to painting cursors. Instead of going with standard, I switched mine over to full size brush tip and I got this feature turned on show crosshair in brush tip. The reason I went with crosshair is so that I could see exactly where I'm gonna be laying down the most amount of pixels. All right, once I'm finished, I'm gonna click okay and that gets rid of that window. Now, what I really wanna cover is this information over here at the top. All right, starting with the left, all right, I'm gonna click on that drop down and that gives me access to some of these presets. Now, whenever you see this little icon, you're gonna be saving off a new tool preset. Whenever you see this gear wheel, you're gonna have access to these additional options like reset, load, save tool presets. And don't forget, you also have these additional libraries that ship along with Adobe Photoshop. All right, I'll hit escape a couple times. Next, I'll click on this drop down, And again, you have some more presets over here, but you could also make edits to how your brush is gonna behave. You could change the size right in here and the hardness. Right in this little preview, you could change it to an oval shape and even adjust the direction. I'm gonna leave mine set to circle and over here you're gonna see these icons again so you could save off a preset and find those additional options. I'm gonna hit escape a couple times. Now we have this over here, this is the brush panel. Clicking on it, it's gonna bring up the brush panel. Now in here, again you have some presets. You could change the size, hardness, spacing, and so on. But over here, you could change the shape dynamics, transfer, and notice every time I choose a different option, all this information changes. Well, I'm not gonna go over all of these in this video. I'm gonna cover those in a separate video. Today, I just wanna stick to the basics. So back over here in the top, you could actually dismiss that panel by clicking on it one more time. Because I have this brush tool activated, I have access to these blend modes over here at the top. And those blend modes are for the pixels that I'm gonna be painting in. Click on this drop down menu and you're gonna have access to all the different blend modes. I'm gonna hit escape. Because I have this tool activated, I could also use my keyboard shortcuts. If I hit shift plus, now we have dissolve, behind, clear. And if I hit shift minus, we're gonna go back in the opposite direction. Now we have normal, luminosity, color, saturation, and so on. You could also type in specific keyboard shortcuts like Shift Option N to go back to normal. All right, if I hit the number five, notice the opacity changes to 50%. All right, 65 will give me 65% and zero will give me 100% opacity. Hovering over the word opacity gives you this little scrubby slider. Clicking on this drop down menu gives you access to this one. And next we have this one over here. Now it's going to control the opacity using the pressure on your tablet. All right, I'm going to undo that by hitting Command Z. Next we have Flow. And again, I have access to the keyboard shortcuts because I have this tool activated. So I'm going to hit Shift 5 to go to 50% Flow. All right, so I'm going to undo that. Shift 0 is gonna give me 100% flow. All right, we're gonna undo that. Next, we have this airbrush feature. Now, this is really cool. When I have it turned on, check this out. It's actually gonna build up the paint. So I'm gonna click and hold, and it's gonna continue to spray until I just fill in that area and flood it with ink. All right, so I'm gonna stop and undo that. Now, I'm gonna turn this guy off. This time, if I click and hold, I just get that one click. All right, so I'm gonna undo that. This last feature over here is gonna control the size of your brush by using the pressure sensitivity in your tablet. All right, I'm gonna undo that. Now, turning this one off is gonna use um, the size that you have in your settings. All right, you could also change the size by using your keyboard shortcuts. So the, probably the most common used one is gonna be your brackets. It's uh, right next to the P key on an American English keyboard. All right, so the right brackets, is gonna increase the size. Left brackets is gonna decrease the size. 
what I like to do is use some different keyboard shortcuts. Now, I'm on a Mac, so this keyboard shortcut is specific for Mac. It's a control option. Click and drag towards the right, and that's going to make me have a larger brush. And when I go towards the left, I have a smaller brush. If I go down, we're increasing the hardness. If I go up, we're decreasing the hardness. You could also change the behavior if you go back into your preferences. All right, so there you go. Bring this guy back down. And there you have it, folks. That's the Brush Tool Basics in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015.